foot against Kyle Broadbeck at 6-3. And we're underway on Sports Radio 103, WNDH Napoleon. Liberty controls the tip. Sophomore Brock Dissop gets it to junior point guard Tim Davis. And we're underway with high school basketball. Davis picks up the dribble, gets it high post to Rob Hill. Hill to the left side, ball's picked off. Sean Roth heads the other way, pulls up for a 16-footer and won't go. Rebound, and Liberty knocks it away from each other, and it will stay Archbold's ball. And one of Tim Davis's problems there, he picked up the dribble a long way from the basket. Keith Roth to throw the ball in, gets it to Broadbeck, and he lost it out of bounds. Guy that is a first-team all-league selection returning for Archbold is Keith Roth. He won't show up as the leading scorer, but he averages six assists a game. He's the guy that sets the table. And what you may see is you may see some teams really force Keith Roth to shoot the ball instead of pass the ball. Davis. Pressure in the backcourt against Archibald's full-court defense. Brock Dissop with the dribble takes it across. This is where Liberty has to be patient. This is Perasini. Turnaround jumper is short. Rebound in the lane. Tim Davis back up with it no good. And over the back will be called on Archibald. I believe they're going to get Sean Roth going over Brock Dissop. That'll be the call. I'll tell you what, I thought Liberty was impressive with their defensive rebounding positioning against Holgate when we saw them. And what they've really done also very well is they attack the basketball. They do not wait for the ball to come to them. They go get the basketball. Ryan Miller's corner jumper no good. Rob Hill with a follow-up rebound is good. So Liberty three straight rebounds and leading on the scoreboard 2-0. Tigers show man-to-man -man defense. Kyle or should say Keith Roth, left side to Brian Ashleman, top of the key, Tyson Ashleman, and over to Keith Roth on the right wing. Keith, top of the circle, this is Sean Roth. He's got Ryan Miller in his face, Keith Roth with a shake and bake move, but Tim Davis stays right with it. Archibald forced to be patient now, and they are showing it. Keith Roth again, right wing, drives baseline, pull up jumper short. Rebound, it's Andrew Perasini. Out to Tim Davis. Liberty in uh, high gear on the offensive end. Now we'll hold it up. Davis had it knocked away. Needs some help. And it slapped away, but Brock Dissa pulls it in, and there's a foul called. And if they're looking at Sean Roth, they're looking at two early fouls on the Blue Streak's leading scorer. And right away checking in is Zeb Schrader, a sophomore at 6-1, in for Sean Roth. Archibald just a little too aggressive with their pressure on the perimeter. Again, trying to keep that tempo at a feverish pitch so that they get a few more shots, and that time a little overly aggressive up at the point. Tim Davis pressured by Keith Roth. Gives it off in the left corner. This is Perasini. Wants to go outside into the high post. It's stolen. And then a foul on Tim Davis trying to get it back. Brian Ashleman got the steal for the Blue Streaks. One thing Liberty's going to have to do is come and get the ball because Archibald is kind of... Uh, Waiting for that uh, pass, and yep. they're picking it off. Yeah, Archibald's really done a very good job of getting angles around the picks and getting into the passing lane. The pass is going to have to be a little bit crisper. Into the key, this is Kyle Broadbeck, kicks it outside. Zeb Schrader to Keith Roth. Then inside to Broadbeck. Banks door is knocked out of the hands of Schrader. Lost it. Dave Grimm says, hold the phone there, Tim Davis. Uh, we don't want to be in a hurry here. Liberty with the lead, 2-0. Davis pressure, gets the ball away, and into the hands of Ryan Miller. Look away pass. Parasini lays it up and in. A loose ball situation. Here comes Archibald on the break. Wide open man right side. Brian Ashleman for three. There it is. Archibald had the fast break set up, but they didn't go to the basket. They stayed out of the perimeter. And there's a foul on Keith Roth pressuring Tim Davis. Foul number three on Archibald, the first on Keith Roth. An example of Archibald running the floor very, very well on a, on a made basket. That time they got the ball out quickly. They spread the floor through the cross-court pass to the open shooter for the three-point shot. Liberty really overloaded defensively on the left side and had to pay the price, a three-point basket. 4-3 Archibald with the uh, deficit here, but uh, coming back. Ball knocked around. Ashleman Tyson saves it for Archibald. Again, an errant pass for Liberty. Again, here's Brian Ashleman, right wing, but they don't get it to him. Keith Roth shakes it down low. Broadbeck missed the layup. And rebound by Rob Hill. Well, he had two options. Broadbeck down the lane, or he could have kicked it to Brian Ashleman on the right side. And Archibald comes up empty. Five minutes to go. First quarter. It's Tiger basketball. Brock a pull-up jumper won't go. Brian Ashleman with a rebound for the Blue Streaks. Here they come down the right side. Zeb Schrader cut off in the corner. Way out top to Tyson Ashleman. Then into Broadbeck. Puts up the shot. No good. Battle for the rebound. Broadbeck's got it. And he is fouled by Rob Hill. 
Broadbeck is a wide body in there at 6'3 and a junior. Nice job of positioning. He gets very wide, gets his feet spread very far apart to give himself very good balance and strength. Looks like he was just a little out of control when he put up the last two shots and didn't get them. Now he will go to the line for a couple of free throws. He can put the streaks on top with both. First one on the way and no good. He looks a little whipped out there, this uh, early tempo in the ball game. Well, Doug Krause's rotation may be messed up a little bit with Sean Roth in that early foul trouble. Broadbeck's free throw, no good again, and Archibald gets the rebound. Brian Ashleman to Keith Roth, jumper no good, a rebound tip. That's Broadbeck to pull it in, leans back and misses, and the rebound to Rob Hill. Hill with three early rebounds. It's still 4-3 Liberty, and the Tigers dodging some pretty big bullets here early on. This is Dissop with the dribble in the lane. Kicks it left side to Ryan Miller. Archibald really quick on the defense. Miller with a tough drive. Didn't get it. And the rebound to Zeb Schrader. Keith Roth down the left side. Inside to Broadbeck. Double team. Shot no good. Rebound to Tim Davis. And again, Liberty seems to be playing Archibald's tempo, even though the game score shows the Tigers on top. And when we look at shots, really both teams are trying to get the ball up very quickly, and that does su surprise us from the point of Liberty Center. 4-3 lead for the Tigers. Dissip with it. Works it left side. This is Rob Miller in the lane, and he's fouled on the drive. <laughs> Foul will go against, I believe, Brian Ashleman for Archibald. Let's check the whistle. That's it. Brian Ashleman, the 5'10 junior. His first two shots coming up for Ryan Miller. Broadbeck's going to get a breather. We'll check out Alex Reimer, a 6'4 junior in the game. I thought I saw somebody that looked a lot like Reimer in the JV game, and I'm, I guess it's his twin brother. Played pretty well for the JVs. Ryan Miller free throw is good. 5-3 in favor of the Tigers of Liberty Center. So far, no rotations for David Grimm, and just as I say that, Brock Upel comes off the bench. This free throw is a miss, loose on the court. Brian Ashleman comes out with it, knocked out of his hands, and a foul on Rob Hill. And that's trouble for the Tigers in his second, it is his second foul. And he's really the only big man that uh, Liberty has to battle in there. So a couple of Tiger changes, Rex Miller at 5'9", and Brock Upel. At 5'11", they will lose uh, quite a bit of height in this exchange. Yeah, we're looking at right now on the floor, Andrew Parasini at 6'3", the biggest Tiger, everyone else 5'11", or under. This is Zeb Schrader for a long bob. He hits a three-pointer. And Archibald takes the lead at 6-5. They've made two baskets, but they have the lead because of those two. Tim Davis in trouble in the backcourt, way down the floor, grabbed by Rex Miller, and he throws it in the hands of Zeb Schrader. Liberty's got turnover problems going, and they trail on the scoreboard 6-5. That's their fourth turnover. Keith Roth to Tyson Ashleman. Right wing, it'll go to Brian Ashleman. This is Zeb Schrader on the point. Gives it to Keith Roth. Roth with a dribble move. Baseline left, and back outside to Schrader. Three minutes to go, first quarter. Archibald will reset the offense. Keith Roth, right side. Brian Ashleman gets a nice pick. Fires a bomb and scores. Three three-point baskets, and Archibald up by four at 9-5. to five. Archibald's connected on all of their threes. They've shot three, and they've hit three. Full-court press is bothering Liberty Center. Here's Andrew Parasini with a drive in traffic. Now we'll bring it out to Ryan Miller. Over to Tim Davis. And this is Rex Miller in the right corner. 2.35 to go. Pass is stolen. Zeb Schrader for a breakaway. Lays it up. Missed it. Rebound to Rex Miller. Liberty just seems to think they've got to be in a hurry on the offensive end, and it's playing into Archibald's hand. And what's happening really, too, Archibald is being very aggressive. They've contested every pass, and right now, Liberty Center has to make that pass quicker. Parasini pull-up shot, and he is double-teamed. It's short. It's Tim Davis with a rebound. Shot up and blocked out of bounds by Archibald. I would think the back door play would be effective against Archibald the way they are overplaying the passing lanes at this stage of the game. Mike Whiteman will check in for the Blue Streaks, a six-foot senior, averaging six points a game. Liberty trails at 9-5 after leading in this game. Pass out front. It's going to go over the head of Ryan Miller. Can't save it. It's out of bounds. Six early turnovers, and we've got a timeout for the Tigers. First quarter action. Takes a break with a score. Archibald 9, Liberty Center 5. If you... 
First quarter action in the NWOAL opener. It's Archibald 9-5. Bruce Slusher, an interesting stat in the shooting department. Yeah, if you look from Archibald's point of view, from the two-point range, they are 0 for 8, but they are 3 for 3 from beyond the arc. There's another 3 on the way. This one's no good, and it's Parasini with a rebound. Oh, you jinxed it, Bruce, <laughs> I can tell. All right, Liberty gets the basketball, trailing by four on the scoreboard. Archibald coming in 2-0, and Liberty at 1-1. One and one. This is Brock Upel, the sophomore with a drive, nice dish. Ryan Miller goes up and missed the layup. Rebound Upel, back up, that's no good. Rebound outside, and it's Tim Davis with it for Liberty Center. Liberty had two easy cracks at it, couldn't put it in. This is Parasini, left side. Back out on the point to Upel. Upel with a drive, and he is bumped out on the perimeter, and they're going to whistle it on Brian Ashleman, and he's got two fouls for Archbull. Team foul-wise, uh, let's check both teams, Bruce. For Archibald, five team fouls for Liberty Center, three. Inbounds play, it'll go deep left corner, and Rex Miller into Parasini, nice feed, lays up, missed the layup. And the rebound underneath pulled out of there by Reimer. Both teams missing some easy opportunities. Brian Ashleman, nice pass. Missed by Ashleman. And a foul is called on Rex Miller. Ashleman coming out on the uh, short end of the foul. And I don't believe it's going to be a shooting foul. But it, it was a very late call. It will be a shooting foul. Ball was almost going the other way when the whistle blew. At the line, Ashleman will shoot two. Tyson fires and gets the roll. 10 to 5. Archbold with the lead with 1.11 to go, first quarter. Team fouls five on Archbold, four on Liberty. That foul went against Rex Miller. Tyson Ashleman gets him. 11-5, full court press for Archbold. Upel has a breakaway. McLaughlin puts it up and in. He just checked in. A six-foot senior for the Tigers. 11-7, Archbold with a basketball in the lead. Keith Roth over to Mike Whiteman. Whiteman looking in for Reimer. Here's uh, uh, drive. Whiteman, nice dish. Alex Reimer puts it up and in. Alex Reimer with the left hand. Davis picks up his dribble. He's in uh, trouble in the backcourt. Upel. Up ahead to Davis. Tim will head up the right sideline. Pass is blocked. Davis gets it back and double dribbled the ball. And Liberty Archibald Press is making Liberty go in full speed into the front court, something David Grimm doesn't want to see. What's happened is the tempo has really swung in favor of Archibald because of their press and because of their aggressive defense. 13-7 lead for Archibald, and they've got the ball in the last half minute of this first quarter of action. Now, Brian Ashleman still in there, has two fouls. Keith Roth checks the clock at 18 seconds. Archibald holding for one, it looks like. Roth. And Brian Ashleman down to 11, now down to 10. They kind of spread the floor out. Keith Roth with a move. Pull up jump shot. Up and in with five seconds, with four. Into Davis with three, with two. Long pass. And it will go off the wall. So Archbold gets the last bucket of the quarter, and they lead it by eight. We take a break from Liberty Center in the NWOL opener. It's the Blue Streaks of Archbold 15, Liberty Tigers 7. A delicious mouth-watering meal to warm you up. All right, back here, 15-7, Archibald lead. Bruce Slusher, any statistics that tell us why? Yeah, looking at Archibald, 5 for 15 from the field for 33%, 2 for 4 from the line, only two turnovers in the first quarter. Liberty Center, 7 turnovers, 3 for 13 from the field. One factor in Liberty's favor, rebounding. They're outboarding Archibald 12-7, but uh, just not hitting those shots when they get them. That's been our Liberty problem in their first two ball games. Sean Roth has checked back in for Archbold despite two fouls. The Blue Streaks with a lead in the ball. Mike Whiteman out of the perimeter. This is Sean Roth. Had the ball tipped away. Gets it back. Over to Keith Roth on the right wing. Keith with a dribble move. Leans in. Gets it to Tyson. No, this is Whiteman. His pull-up jumper in and out. Rebound to Upel. Upel out on the run with it. Heads up the right side. They'll give him room, but he'll send it outside. McLaughlin kicks it left side. Hill with a drive and a big call there as it has whistled a blocking foul on Whiteman. If that's on Hill, it is his third foul. So a big call going Liberty's way this time, and it will be foul number six as a team. 
So Liberty should be shooting one and ones pretty soon. Rex Miller takes the ball left side to Rob Hill. He's cut off. Looking for help. Goes out front with it to Rex Miller. Archbold playing zone now. A 2-3 zone. See how much pressure they can get uh, on the perimeter here. I'm sure still full court pressing. Rex Miller, cross court pass. Upel with a drive. Passes underneath McLaughlin. Lays it up and in. Nice feed from Upel, the sophomore. 15-9. Here comes Archbold on the attack. Sean Roth with a drive. Pull up. It's knocked out of his hands. Rex Miller goes the other way with it. Miller with a layup and missed it. And it's rebounded by Tyson Ashleman for Archbold. The Blue Streaks go the other way. Keith Roth shut off. Kicks it left. This is Ashleman inside to Broadbeck. Leans in and he walked with the ball. Liberty basketball. Ryan Miller in for twin brother Rex Miller. 6.37 to go. Second quarter. Liberty trails it by six. Tigers seem to be getting a little more in their own sink now. I think they're being a little more patient. Archibald right back out of the zone. Normally you don't get dribble penetration against the zone, and you are able to get against the man-to-man. -man. Liberty was able to do just the opposite against Archibald's defense. McLaughlin outside to Upel. 15-9, the lead for Archibald. This is Ryan Miller with it, with a dribble move, and we have a foul away from the ball, and it's called on Jess McLaughlin for Liberty Center. Eighth turnover on the Tigers, and foul number five as a team on Liberty Center. David Grimm talking with the official about that one. Whiteman is out, and Zeb Schrader back in for the Blue Streaks. A very young Archibald team. Four juniors and a senior in the starting lineup, and uh, three out of the or two of the top three subs are underclassmen. This is a missed shot. Ashland with it. He is fouled by Jess McLaughlin. Trying to put it back up. Liberty's going to go to their bench, and we will see Brock Dissip, a sophomore, check back in. McLaughlin with his second foul, and he'll come out of there. Tyson Ashleman at the line to shoot two shots. Rebound leaders, Liberty's Tim Davis, the point guard, has four. Archbold has three rebounds going to Brian Ashleman. Cousin Tyson Ashleman at the line. Free throw up, and it's going to go. Sixteen-nine. Archbold with the lead. Archbold coming off a 93. Preferred turn the pass. 99. This one is a miss, and Tim Davis pulls down the rebound. Davis way up the sideline to Upel. Goes inside to Dissip. Dissip pump fakes. Puts up the shot. Didn't get it. Rebound. This is Kyle Broadbeck for Archbold. Gets the outlet to Keith Roth. Roth down to the left corner. Sean Roth deep on the sideline. No good. Rebound. Zepp Schrader comes flying in to grab it. Schrader outside to Keith Roth. And he runs right over a Liberty Tiger. And throws it away. So no foul call there. Upel got planted in the uh, hardwood on that one. But it's still a turnover on Archibald. Third turnover here in the second quarter for Archibald. That was great defensive position for Upel. Held his ground. Davis to Hill to Upel. Upel on the baseline. Spin move back out to Hill. He'll fire a three-pointer. Got it. Robbie Hill for three, and it's a four-point game. 16-12, Archbold. And that's one of the matchup problems you face when you go against Liberty Center. They have a post player who can step all the way out for the threes. Ball knocked out of bounds. Upel got a piece of it. They say off of Upel. It will go back to the Archbold Blue Streaks. Liberty Center's defense a little more aggressive now, getting into the passing lane, trying to get a hand on that in inbounds pass. They're getting out there right in the face of the Blue Streaks. Archbold by four. Blue Streaks have not been exactly red hot this quarter. Keith Roth, left side. This is Zeb Schrader looking in for Tyson Ashleman. Instead out to Broadbeck to Keith Roth. Roth. Way out top, Sean Roth for a long three, no good. Rebound tipped. Tyson Ashleman has it, kicks it outside to Keith Roth. New possession for the Blue Streaks. Sean Roth, double team, baseline, Zepp Schrader. Leans in, puts up the shot, no good. Brock Dissip with a rebound for Liberty Center. Physical ball game it's turned into in this quarter. Here comes Liberty. Upel for a long bomb, no good. Rebound in the key. Keith Roth takes it the other way for Archbold. He's got Sean Roth, left wing, thought about three. Now steps in, shoots and misses. Rebound, Upel's got it for Liberty Center. Tigers go the other way. 
Ryan Miller spins in the lane, missed the shot. Sean Roth with a rebound. Archbold comes the other way. 16-12, still the score. Keith Roth baseline drive, puts it up short. Rebound, Upel, and he is fouled by Kyle Broadbeck. I'll tell you what, Rock Upel playing a great second quarter. Four rebounds already in this stanza. And also has a very big assist down there. It was able, with, with the points being very tough to get, the assist is almost as important as the shot. Some changes now. It's Brian Ashleman in for Sean Roth, and Liberty makes a couple of changes. Rock Dissip. In fact, we have a timeout. Archbold timeout. 4-11 to go in the second quarter. We'll take a break. Blue Streaks leading the Liberty Tigers 16-12. to Patriots are shutting down Delta's Delgados. Halftime score Patriots on top 20-11. Also up in Michigan, Bedford is leading Napoleon at halftime 33-26. to Hang on a minute. All right, here we go with Brock Upel at the line. Liberty, in fact, both teams are in the 1-1. One one. Upel hits the free throw to make it 16-13. Upel will get one more. It's on the way and good. Upel makes it a two-point game, 16-14. And David Grimm's Tigers are hanging tough. Archbold will check some shooting numbers in a second here. This is Tyson Ashleman to work it up. Brian Ashleman over to Keith Roth. Lob inside. Upel picks off the steal and Liberty with a basketball. Great weak side help from Upel. All right, Bruce, what have we got in the shooting department? Yeah, right now Archibald 0 for 8 from the field here in the second quarter. Liberty Center 2 for 6. Rex Miller kicks it out to Andrew Parasini and over to Tim Davis. Liberty going for the tie with his possession. And Rob Hill called for a walk out front on the perimeter. Turnover still the bugaboo for the Tigers. Yeah, right now Liberty Center with nine turnovers. Archibald with six, four of those in the second quarter. So the streaks have been guilty this uh, quarter. Rob Hill comes out of there and Jess McLaughlin back in for Liberty. 3.36 to go in this first half of basketball. Brian Ashleman out on the point. Works it left side to Zeb Schrader. Archibald a little weave going out there, trying to shake, I think, Keith Roth loose for something. Here's Brian Ashleman to Keith Roth. His drive shut off. Ball will go to Broadback and back to Keith Roth. Roth has not been able to penetrate against this Liberty defense thus far. Here's the lob into Broadbeck. Backing in, leans, leans, puts it up, didn't get it. Rebound, it's Tyson Ashleman, stolen by Liberty Center. Upel comes out of there with it at the three-minute mark of the second quarter. Still 16-14 Archbull. Davis, right corner, McLaughlin wide open, didn't pump it. Gives it off to Parasini. He will let it fly, and he scores. 16 all. 2.45 to go. Liberty with a solid quarter going against Archbold. Blue Streaks have scored one point in the first five and a half minutes of the quarter. Broadbeck to Keith Roth. Roth on the perimeter left side. Now we'll work it out to the point. Liberty staying with Keith Roth all the way. This is Brian Ashleman. Ashleman loads up a long three and it's on target. Finally, Archbold breaks the ice from the field. 19-16. That was a long three-pointer. Tim Davis in trouble to Jess McLaughlin. McLaughlin brings it out to Tim Davis. Archbold scrambling in that man-to-man -man defense. Davis to Parasini. Backs it out. Now over to Davis. 19-16. And a foul reaching in on Zeb Schrader will send Rex Miller to the free-throw line. Two minutes to go, second quarter. Tim Roush, I'm not sure we caught that score correctly, but uh, if we did, Patrick Henry leading Delta 20 to 11 at halftime. We'll uh, try and get more details. Delta usually uh, puts 11 on the board in the first two minutes of a game. That means Patrick Henry has done an awfully good job of controlling that tempo. Rex Miller free throw up and in, 1917. Speaking of controlling tempo, I think we could say the same thing for Liberty in this game, especially this quarter anyway. What's happened is Archibald hasn't been able to score, which in turn means they haven't been able to get into their press at all. Rex Miller drops in a pair of free throws, 1918. Blue Streaks with a one-point game, and they'll work it up. Keith Roth, right side. This is Mike Whiteman who's checked in. Also in Alex Reimer. Here's Zeb Schrader. Left wing to Keith Roth. 1.48 to go in the quarter. Whiteman looking. Drives in the lane, lost the ball. Parasini has it for Archbold. Blue Streak turnovers, they're killing him right now. Five in this quarter alone. Liberty with a the basketball. They may hold it for the last shot of the quarter. 
Here's Rex Miller, turnaround jumper. Forget that to move. 2019, Liberty connects. Down the sideline come the Blue Streaks. Seb Schrader pressured by Upel. Outside it'll go, then into the paint. This is Whiteman with a drive. And he is fouled by Upel with a minute 15 to go. Upel with his first foul. And Archbold at the free throw line for one and one. One or two on Upel? One, okay. Brock Dissop will come in. It will be for Jess McLaughlin with a minute 15 to go in this first half. Liberty's defense has been very active. When Archbold has tried to go inside to, the, to Broadback and some of their bigger people, Liberty's done a very good job of collapsing and getting a hand on that basketball. At the line, Mike Whiteman for one and one. Free throw on the way, and it's no good. Rebound, Zeb Schrader, and he walked with the ball. Zeb's got some nice rebounds for the Blue Streaks, but that one he couldn't hang on to. Archbold with full court pressure. Upel will try and throw it in, gets it to Parasini in the backcourt. Now to Upel. Gets it ahead. This is Brock Dissop against the press. Upel will dribble it against Whiteman. Upel lobs it up ahead, gets it over to Dissop. Dissop down to the corner. Parasini thought about the opening, now takes it outside. One minute to go in the first half. Tim Davis holding it. Just holding it. Liberty with a lead, 2019. Here's Parasini to come out. I don't think it's a bad idea for Liberty to hold it for the rest of the quarter here. What do you think, Bruce? Yeah, it's a very good idea. It's a matter of if Archibald can get a double team on the ball, look for them to try to double one of these first entry passes. Then Liberty has to look for the long pass down low. Rex Miller to Tim Davis. 30 seconds to go, first half. Tim with a basketball. Davis gets it over to Brock Dissop. 2019 Liberty. Dissop with the ball. He's got a man on the right sideline if he wants to go that way. Here's Davis with it. Down to 17. Now down to 15. Davis pressured outside. Now 13. Pass knocked away. Grabbed back by Rex Miller with 10. Down to 8. Tim Davis pressured. Double team with 5. Gets it over to Rex Miller. Long bomb up. No good. Rebound to Reimer with 1. And that's the end of the first half. Liberty Center with a one-point lead as we take a break in the NWOAL opener. It's the Liberty Tigers 20, the Archbold Blue Streaks 19. All right, right here we're set to go with a third quarter. It'll be Liberty Center basketball. Tigers come out with Ryan Miller, Brock Dissop, Tim Davis, Rob Hill, and Andrew Parasini. Same lineup that started the game. Archbold comes out with Keith Roth, Sean Roth, Ryan Ashleman, and Kyle Broadbeck and I believe Tyson Ashleman. Nice pass. Rob Hill with a layup, and he is fouled by Keith Roth. Roth saved an easy two there. Liberty had to kind of use some scrambling uh, plays to save the ball a couple of times. Now Rob Hill at the line to shoot two shots. Opening possession. Liberty got the ball inside. That looked like a special play, or do you think that uh, it just, just resulted out of a scramble situation? I think more of a scramble situation, but a very heads-up play, able to get the ball into the block. Read the defense, read where the defender was posted, and keep the ball away from them to their person on the block. Yeah. Rob Hill hits the free throw. The lead is two. His second one up. That's no good. Rebound. Karam's long, and Hill tips it to his teammate, Brock Dissop. Liberty with a lead by two. Heads-up play. This is Tim Davis with a spin move. Dishes right side to Dissop. Back out to Tim Davis. Archbold trying to put a little more heat on, it looks like, out on the perimeter. That may open up the inside game. Tim Davis, high post to Rob Hill. Hill with a spin. Turnaround jump shot, no good. And it's Broadbeck with a rebound for Archbold. Blue streaks on the run, trailing by two. Keith Roth to Brian Ashleman. You got so many guys to watch out on the perimeter for Archbold. Into Broadbeck, double team, back outside it goes. Keith Roth to Ashleman. Ashleman with a drive. Way out to Keith Roth. Now down the lane, knocked away from behind by Tim Davis. But a foul is called. And Tim Davis with his second foul. You know, for Keith Roth, you're almost better off playing the drive than the shot. He loves to penetrate with a dribble. What you have to really do is almost force him to pass the ball or, or shoot the ball because really he's more dangerous with the pass. Broadbeck gives it off to Brian Ashleman. His long one is good, and he's fouled on the shot. Rock Dissop fouls, and it could be a four-point play for Brian Ashleman. Right now, Brian Ashleman seems to be the only guy that's got the three-point shot going. Yeah, looking at Brian Ashleman's numbers, right now he is four for five from the three-point line. Whoa. Archbold getting so much uh, 
Notoriety from Sean Roth. This is Brian Ashleman free throw. It's going to go. Four-point play, and Archbold now goes from two down to two ahead. Brock Dissip in the backcourt with the dribble. Up the sideline, he's got Andrew Pirasini. Pirasini will back it out of there. Just like that, Archbold with the lead. Here's Pirasini with a drive. Lost it off his foot, out of bounds. And Brock Uppel will check in for Liberty Center for Pirasini. Liberty, I think, wanting a little bit more passing instead of dribbling with the basketball and the offensive end. Especially the way Archibald attacks you defensively. You have to keep the ball moving from area to area. This is Ashland. Give and go into Broadbeck. Leans in, puts up the shot, didn't get it, and Rob Hill with a rebound. His fifth of the ball game. Out to Tim Davis. Davis will bring it up. 23-21 lead for Archbold. Upel, top of the key. Ryan Miller with it. Throws up the three. It's off the mark. Rebound. Rob Hill takes it back up and in. 23 apiece. Here comes Archbold. Sean Roth working on Ryan Miller. Baseline corner jumper. No good. Tough shot. Miller was in his face, and the rebound comes down to Upel. Liberty and Archbold deadlocked. We've gone two minutes in the third. Tim Davis left side to Upel. Upel with a dribble move, slashes in, puts it up, and he's called for an offensive foul. Tyson Ashleman waiting for him. And for Upel, foul number two. Archibald defensively is very fundamentally sound. Weak side help was right there waiting for the drive. What you have to do in the offense is you have to get your balance, jump stop, and take that shot. Brad back outside to Keith Roth over to Brian Ashleman. Then to Sean Roth on the point. 30, make it 23 all. Here's Keith Roth, 16-footer way short. And it will go out of bounds to Liberty Center. Blue streaks beyond Brian Ashleman have really had a tough night shooting. Let's see, how many points does Brian Ashleman have? Uh, Ashleman right now with 13. 13 of their 23 points. Tim Davis with a dribble move. Gets it up to Brock Dissop. Brock with the drive. Now is shut off. Now with the dribble. Top of the circle, picks it up, gives it off to Rob Hill. He'll throw up a three. He hits it. Rob Hill is carrying the Tigers here in the third quarter. Rob Hill with 11 for the Tigers. 26-23. Liberty leads it with 5.05 to go in the third. Brian Ashleman looking in for Broadbeck. Takes it out instead to Tyson Ashleman. Right side to Keith Roth. Then to Kyle Broadbeck. Leans in. Missed the shot. Rebound to Tyson Ashleman. Out to Sean Roth. Sean. Shot rejected. Rebound. Brian Ashleman up. No good. This rebound. Kyle Broadbeck up. That is no good. Rebound. Keith Roth. And he is fouled. And if I'm not mistaken, they're pointing at Brock Dissop. And that is his second foul. That time the Blue Streaks attacked the glass. Just couldn't get it to go. Not a shooting foul, but look at the team fouls. Four on Liberty, only one on Archbold. Brian Ashleman takes the long pass out front. Spins it back to the left to Sean Roth. This is Keith Roth with a dribble move. Kicks it out to Sean Roth. And he is hand-checked by Ryan Miller. That'll be a foul. Fifth team foul on Liberty. We haven't even gone four minutes. So some problems looming for Liberty Center, even though they have a three-point lead in the quarter. This is Brian Ashleman with the 4.30 left to go. Tyson Ashleman double-teamed and put the head down. Ran over Uppel. Great defensive position by Liberty. They double-teamed in the post position. And Liberty has been doing that extremely well all night long, attacking the ball when it gets to the post and making everything difficult on the inside. Full-court pressure by Archbull. Liberty with the lead by three. Back to Uppel. Uppel with a dribble, trying to get it across. Sends it to the left side. That's to Dissop. He'll get it over to Ryan Miller. Miller with some room. In the lane, double pumps, no good. And rebound saved by Rob Hill. Deep in the corner, lobs underneath to Upel. Fakes, goes up and scores. <laughs> Liberty by five at 28-23 with four minutes to go in the quarter. Liberty seems to have the game now in their rhythm and in their tempo, being a little bit more patient offensively, throwing that extra pass and getting an extra look at the basket. Archbold seems a little tentative on the perimeter. Don't see that from Archbold. Here's Brian Ashleman. His three-pointer good. He is the only one that is not tentative. That three-pointer makes it a four, make it a two-point game. Full court pressure. Archbold knocking it around. This is Dissup in trouble on the floor, and he is called for a walk. 
David Grimm is saying, hey, you got to call the hand check both ways. And that's the message he's trying to get to the men in the striped shirts. Liberty will give the ball back to Archbold. Tell you what, it doesn't take Archbold long. You think you have a, a nice, comfortable lead, and the streaks can just wipe it out like that. Now, you look at Brian Ashman to give you a, a, an idea of their quick strike. 15 points from the field on seven shots. Oh, my. Here's Brian Ashleman for another three. That one's no good. And the rebound to Brock Dissop. Might have hurried that a little bit, but Archbold set up a special screen just for him. He is the hot man with a hand. This is Upel with the ball. Takes it out on the point. Rob Hill for another three. Yes, again. Rob Hill is the man on fire for Liberty Center. And the lead is five with 3.08 to go in the third. It's a Brian Ashleman, Rob Hill counterpunch uh, night. Here's Brian, or no, Sean Roth with a dribble move into Keith Roth. Lays it up and in. 31-28, the lead for Liberty, but Archbold closing it again. Full court heat from Archbold. Upel lob up ahead. Dissip give and go to Upel. It's stolen by Archbold. And a foul in the backcourt on Liberty Center. Archbold will get the ball. They had a breakaway going the other way anyway. Here comes Alex Reimer in for Archbold, and he'll come in for Tyson Ashleman. Two fouls on Rex Miller, six on the uh, Tiger team. From now on, one and one for Archbold. That's an awfully long period of time to allow Archbold to shoot the one and one. Roth with the dish, and Whiteman couldn't handle it. He's checked in for Archbold. It was kind of a tough pass. Liberty gets it after the turnover. Upel, nope, that is Dissip who is tripped up by Sean Roth for his third foul of the game. But only three team fouls on Archbold. You know, I think against this Archbold press, you might like to dribble it a little bit and really squeeze through some of those double teams. What you'd like to do is you'd like to try to dribble and make them pressure you, get the ball reversed and look deep because they send almost all five people on the other side of half court line so they can beat the press deep. Rex Miller to Upel who wasn't looking for it and Liberty throws it away. Tigers with four turnovers in the quarter. They give it back. David Grimm, who was a point guard at Polgate, hates those turnovers. 31-28 lead for Liberty. Brian Ashleman with the ball. Loads up a three. Won't get it. And over the back will be called on Archbold. It's Alex Reimer. That will be his first. So the blue streaks come up empty. 31-28, Liberty leads it. 2.22 to go in the third quarter. Full court pressure. Brock Dissop to Tim Davis. A junior and two sophomores trying to bring it up, and then Zeb Schrader pushes Davis in the backcourt. Now here is where the press is working against Archbold because they are starting to catch up with Liberty and fouls. Yeah, what happens is they haven't moved their feet very well in this second half against the press. Liberty's been able to beat it with the dribble, and what they've done is they've fouled, which, as you said, now has almost evened up this foul situation. Long pass up to Rob Hill from Upel. Hill takes it outside to Davis. 2.08 to go in the third. Liberty up 31-28. Zeb Schrader staying with Tim Davis. Right side pass, and Hill is bumped by Mike Whiteman. And the fouls, just like that, are even at six apiece. And a second one on Whiteman. It seemed like at the four-minute mark, it was 6-2 to two with Liberty Center being in foul difficulty. As you said, now it's just all evened up. Liberty possession to the right of the bucket. Let's see what they set up. Goes out front. This is Rex Miller. Rex to Upel. Lost the ball. Catches it back in the corner. Sends it outside to Rex Miller. Miller with a drive. Pull-up jumper. No good. Rebound to Zeb Schrader. Zeb with a fourth rebound. Here comes Archbold, but it's knocked away by Rex Miller. Out of bounds. 1.45 to go in the third quarter. Now, the last time we saw Liberty, they stayed with Holgate pretty well, but fizzled out in the uh, early stretches of the fourth quarter. Brock Dissop gets a piece of a pass and knocks it out of bounds. One difference in this game as compared to the Holgate game, Liberty Center not in individual foul trouble as they were in that game. Liberty will make some changes. Ryan Miller in for Brock Dissop. Andrew Parasini in for Tim Davis. 
And I believe Jess McLaughlin has checked in. So David Grimm in the last 139, or at least a part of this third quarter, is going to get a rest for some starters. Liberty with a lead by three, but Archbold with the offensive possession. Zeb Schrader on the right sideline, takes it out front. This is Reimer, left side. Brian Ashelman passes inside, and Upel will go over the back and pick up his third foul, and Whiteman will go to the line to shoot one and one. Nice ball movement by the Blue Streaks to find the opening. <laughs> well, Brock Dissop's rest was uh, a short one, and he will replace his sophomore teammate, Upel. Archbold will send Keith Roth back in for Sean Roth, who has three fouls. Mike Whiteman at the line for Archbold, six-foot senior. Still like the poster up at Archbold High School. White man can jump. They're talking about Mike Whiteman. Take off on the movie. Whiteman's free throw is good. 31-29. Whiteman draws the streaks to within two. Archbold's been playing an uphill battle most of this uh, second quarter and third. Whiteman gets them both, and it's a one-point game. Full court press. And Archbold's going to take off the press for the last uh, minute here. Dissop with a dribble move. Looks left, looks right. So Archbold covering those passing lanes. And finally out front, it'll go to Ryan Miller. Liberty without the true point guard in there. Let's see who's going to take it. Ryan Miller in trouble. Spins, and he walked with the ball. And uh, David Grimm trying to get by without a real point guard in there. And uh, it forces a turnover. And for Liberty in this quarter, it's the fifth. 106 to go in the third. Archbold basketball down by just one. Whiteman left sideline to Schrader. He's looking inside for Reimer. Ball out front and Roth will run it down. Keith Roth with the dribble move. Kicks it outside to Brian Ashleman. Brian had it knocked loose. Gets it back down the lane. Dishes and Reimer with a shot up. No, it's tipped around. Rebound Whiteman and he is fouled on the way back up. Well, I'll tell you what, Archbold has changed the rebounding picture. They are getting some extra chances, and for McLaughlin, his third foul, and Whiteman will shoot some more free throws. Tim Davis checks back in with 44 seconds to go in the third. Brock Upel will check in for Parasini. Liberty's lead may be evaporating here with Archbold's free throws. 31-30 Liberty, but Mike Whiteman on the line for two. Free throw up, and it's there. Three straight free throws for Whiteman. It's tied this one up at 31 all. Whiteman for the lead, no. And the rebound tipped and controlled by Liberty Center's Ryan Miller. We're tied with 40 seconds to go in the quarter, and I think David Grimm wants to hold things up a bit. Tim Davis sends his man down, waiting for the pick. It goes to Upel, saves it. Oh, almost a throwaway for the Liberty Tigers. They had to scramble to save it. 23 seconds to go in the quarter. Tim Davis holding it, gets it over to Brock Dissop, down to 19. Dissop with the dribble. Archbold's clinging to him on the perimeter. Davis with 14. They're going to double-team him out there. Now he gets it to Dissop. He's got a man open. Now to the corner. Ryan Miller loses it. Gets it back with six seconds. Davis with a drive to Upel in the lane. No. Rebound loose and a shot at the buzzer. No good. A tie score heading to the fourth quarter. It's Liberty Center 31, Archbold 31. Serving all of New Head of the fourth quarter, this part of our coverage brought to you by Henry County Mutual Insurance, Christie Motors, George's Furniture and Bedding, by the Rusty Windmill and the Karen Share Gift and Thrift Shop. Archbold with a basketball. Keith Roth looking, sends it outside. Brian Ashleman for three. He buries it. And a big screen out there from Kyle Broadbeck to set it up. 34-31. Liberty with the ball, getting some real heat. Tim Ashlo or Tim Davis is bumped around like a pinball, but no whistle. Gets it out front, and Liberty barely hangs on and then throws it away out front. 
Bruce Fletcher, let's take a look after three quarters. For Liberty Center from the field, four for nine, 44% from the line, one for two. For Archibald, three for 13 for 23%, four for five from the line for 80%. Those three for 13, were they all threes? Uh, two threes and then a two-point basket. Here's another three. Sean Roth not going to get it. It's Mike Whiteman with a rebound to Brian Ashleman, to Kyle Broadbeck outside to Keith Roth. Roth with a drive, dishes to Brian Ashleman. Three is good. And Archibald up by six, and Liberty wants a timeout. Brian Ashleman with seven threes in this basketball game. Liberty with a timeout early in the fourth quarter. The Tigers now behind by six, 37-31. We'll come right back. When it to be your dry cleaners. Archbold with Liberty on the run in the first minute. Now we'll put the defensive pressure on. Rob Hill to Brock Upel. Man-to-man -man pressure all over the place. Upel with a dribble. Gets it to Brock Dissip. Still in the backcourt. Dissip takes it across to Tim Davis. His three-pointer on the way. No good. And it is rebounded by Broadbeck. Broadbeck with his seventh rebound. So Liberty comes up empty. Here's Keith Roth. Dishes off. Brian Ashleman. Dishes underneath. Whiteman for the shot. Scores and he's fouled. Rob Hill called for the foul. And Archbold is on fire to start the fourth quarter. That's what happens when you have someone who is connected on seven threes. Your defense overcommits to take away the perimeter shot. That time Brian Ashman put his head down, went with a right-handed dribble to penetrate as they came up to attack him. He found the open man and got the ball to Mike Whiteman on the block. Whiteman for a three-point play up and no good, but it's Sean Roth with a rebound. Roth brings it out. Keith Roth dishes in. That is Whiteman, but he missed the layup. Rebound loose and saved by Archbold. Another possession. Long three, no good. This rebound pulled down by Ryan Miller, and he's fouled by Kyle Broadbeck. And it will result in a one-and-one one on the Liberty end. 39-31. David Grimm trying to counterpunch here with his Tigers. Liberty led it most of the third quarter, but Archbold has come out blitzing here in the fourth. For Broadbeck, only his second foul. Ryan Miller at the line for one and one. Liberty scoreless here in the quarter. Free throw up, and it's good. 39-32. Both teams in the one and one the rest of the ball game. Here's Rex Miller to check in for Brock Dissop in the Liberty center lineup. One more for Ryan Miller. Ryan Ashleman having some kind of NWOAL opening night. Ryan Miller's free throw good. He gets them both, and the lead is six. If one doesn't get you, the other will for Archibald in that three-point line. Here's a pass into Ashleman. Nope, that is Broadback who puts it up and in. Rob Hill trying to stay away from a fourth foul, and it gave Broadback a chance to score. Liberty trails by eight with 6.08 to go in the game. Ryan Miller with the ball, gives it out to Tim Davis. Davis will get double team, squeezes through, the ball kicks, scramble on the floor, and loose ball, Archibald's got it. Archibald goes the other way. Sean Roth with a fadeaway jumper, got it. 43-33, Archibald up by 10. Using some pretty good pressure and playing some physical basketball. Pass up to Ryan Miller, up to Rex Miller. And Liberty will set it up. Down by 10. Rob Hill steps out on the right side. With a dribble move, spins, drives, puts it up, and got it. Nice move, Rob Hill. 43-35, Liberty trails it by eight. Here's Brian Ashleman looking inside. He's got Broadbeck to Keith Roth for a three. That's good. There's that inside-outside offense that Archibald was looking for. The Blue Streaks by 11. They have scored 15 points in less than three minutes. And that's the type of passing rotation we talked about earlier, making the defense collapse and then throwing it back out to the three-point line. Upel's long one, no good. Keith Roth with a rebound. Two on two, Roth with a dribble move, and it's stolen by Tim Davis. Davis up ahead. He's got Upel. Upel with a drive, puts it up and in. Big play for Liberty there. That possession could have put him down 13 or 14. Instead, it's down by 9. 46-37, Archbull. Keith Roth to Brian Ashleman, right side of the wing. Way out on the post, this is Broadbeck. Gives it off to Keith Roth. 
Here comes Sean Roth around a pick, has to run it down near center court. With a dribble move, spinning in, backs it out to Brian Ashleman. Archbold patiently looking for what they want, and Archbold will take a timeout. 4.20 left in the game, Archbold by 9. When we come back in the fourth quarter, it's Archbold 46, Liberty Center 37. Want to turn your track? Scores with Tim Roush after this ball game. Archbold up by 9 with the ball with 4.19 to go in the game. And an interesting timeout there. Looks like Archbold's going to really spread the floor out and let Keith Roth drive. Tim Davis trying to stay with him, and it looks like kind of a delay tactic here for Archbold. Brian Ashleman with a drive, puts up the shot and scores. They spread the floor and get the layup. Archbold by 11 with four minutes left to go in the game. 48-37. Tim Davis up the middle of the court. This is Upel up the sideline to Parasini. Gives it off underneath. Rex Miller's layup is good. 48-39. Liberty still on the attack, but 342 is all that's left in the game. Ryan Ashleman underneath. He's got Tyson Ashleman for two. And Archbold now taking off the press. Leading it by 11, 50 to 39. Archbold in this fourth quarter, 8 for 11 from the field. Oh, my. Davis picks up the dribble, gets it to Rob Hill. Wide open from 17 and nails it. 50, 41, and looks like it's going to be a high-scoring fourth quarter here. Archbold's already got 19 points. 18 points for Rob Hill for the game. 3-10 to go. Archbold again is spread out. What can Liberty do with this type of an offense? Ashleman with a drive, and he is fouled by Rex Miller. I don't think he wants to foul, though, at that point. 3.03 to go. What you might want to have to try to do is you're going to have to try to get the person with the ball to turn his back, try to get him to turn with the dribble, and then run the double team from the weak side. The only other really thing you can do is try to deny your man, let the dribble penetration help, and then recover, and then deny any other type of, 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 of pass receiver who's coming to meet the ball, deny that person. With Archibald, though, and the perimeter people and their ball handlers, that's going to be a very big job to get accomplished. At the line, Brian Ashleman, he has had a big night for Archibald. He wasn't even a starter last year, but is coming in to put some big points on the board. 15 points in the second half, 24 for the game. He'll hit a free throw here. Archibald has really shot some uh, solid free throws. 51-41, Archibald by 10. The quarter opened with a tie. Ashleman drops them both in. Now they've taken the full court press off. Why, what do you make of that for Archbold? With Liberty Center being in the one and one, probably Coach Krause does not want any fouls where Liberty Center can score with the clock stopped. Rex Miller with the ball, goes to the left sideline. This is Tim Davis, his three-pointer up and in. Davis cuts the lead to eight at 52-44. 2.42 to go in the ball game. Archbold with it. One of the co-favorites here in the league this year, Archbold with the ball. Ashleman gives it off to Sean Roth. Drives in the lane, shot up and in. Blue Streaks refuse to miss in this fourth quarter. Up by 10, 54-44. Brock Dissip, double team, gets it outside. It's stolen by Keith Roth. Roth with a breakaway layup and scores again. 56-44. The Blue Streak lead is 12. Down to 2-10 left in the game. 10 for 12 for Archibald now in the fourth quarter. This up on the right sideline. This is Upel with a drive. Has some room. Slides through and scores. 56-46. It's tough to outscore Archibald. The Blue Streak's already with 25 on the board in this quarter. Yeah, from the Tigers' point of view, trading baskets doesn't help at this point in time. Roth just holding it out front with a minute 43 left to go. And now to Sean Roth. Blue Streak's eating up the clock with a 10-point lead. Rex Miller almost with a steal. Now Sean Roth passes to the corner. Tyson Ashleman to Brian Ashleman. Blue Streak's in the delay game. And Liberty will be forced to foul, and there it is. And an intentional foul called on Rex Miller will give the Blue Streaks two free throws and the basketball. And for Rex Miller, it is his fourth foul. Stepping to the line will be Sean Roth. Free throw, no good. Archbold exploding in the fourth quarter for 25 points. After scoring 15, then 4, then 12, they get 26 now in the fourth quarter and get the ball back. 
Brian Currier in for Rob Hill with a minute 25 left to go in the game. Brian Ashleman gets it to Sean Roth. Out of Brian Ashleman, a minute 20 left to go. Everybody trying to get some heat on the ball, and Upel will reach in and get a foul. Sending Sean Roth to the line, and Upel with his fourth foul. Rob Hill will check right back in for Liberty. Courier and Hill may be uh, switching places a few times here in the closing minute or so. Well, the Blue Streaks can put it away at the free throw line here. It looks like Liberty's going to give him chances. Sean Ross, free throw, no good. Rebound to Rob Hill. Tigers will work it up. This is Tim Davis. Davis gets a pick and then is pushed on the wing with it. Give and go to Rob Hill. He's fouled and scores. 57-48, a nine-point game, and Rob Hill will shoot a free throw. 1.06 left to go in the game. I believe that foul goes against Reimer, his second, and Kyle Broadbeck will check in for Archbold. Robbie Hill with 20 points for tonight's game for the Liberty Center Tigers. Well, Liberty has scored 17, but uh, that has not been nearly enough to keep up with Archbold. All the scores coming up after the game. Rob Hill's free throw good. And Hill will come out and Brian Currier in just to get a little more quickness in there. Archbold facing full court pressure from Liberty. Ball will go into Keith Roth. And Roth is fouled by Tim Davis with a minute five to go. So it will come down to blue streak free throw shooting. Keith Roth will go to the line. Anything from Keith Roth at the charity stripe. This will be his first attempt at the free throw line. Here in the fourth quarter, Archibald three for five from the free throw. Liberty makes a change to bring Rob Hill back in. Blue Streaks uh, in action tomorrow. Tough road trip. They go to Kaleida, and Liberty will have Evergreen. Another missed free throw, and Rob Hill with a rebound. Liberty still with some life here in this ball game. Let's see what they do. Tim Davis getting some pressure out front to Upel. Liberty needs a quick score. Upel with a drive, slices through and scores. 57 to 51. And a timeout for Liberty with 47 seconds to go. We'll take a break. The Tigers coming back. It's a six point lead for Archbold, 57-51. Your Seba Seed Service Center may not have all of the answers. Free throw equals a Lima Bath victory over Defiance, 54 to 53. Archibald basketball, the full court pressure's on in the backcourt, and a foul on Tim Davis to deny the pass to Keith Roth. Oh, what a tough way to lose for Defiance there to Lima Bath. Congratulations for the uh, Holgate Tigers victory over Miller City. This is Keith Roth at the line, just missed the front end of one of them. But that is a fourth foul now on Tim Davis, so Liberty's got to find other people to foul now. You know, looking at some of the stu shooting statistics, we had Archibald being 10 for 12. Liberty Center in this fourth quarter, we have 8 for 10. Keith Roth, free throw, good. That will help Doug Krause breathe a little easier. 58-51, Archibald by 7. Roth, second one, up and in. That'll bump the lead back to eight. Just 45 seconds to go. Davis with a dribble. Takes it down the floor, looking for help. Goes to the deep corner to Upel. Out to Davis, three-pointer block. Rebound, and it's Ashleman who's got it for Archbold. Down the sideline, Keith Roth for the layup and missed it. Rebound to Rob Hill. Here comes Liberty the other way. Tim Davis with the drive. Stops in trouble over to Rob Hill. He had it knocked out of his hands by Sean Roth. 20 seconds left to go. Liberty trails it by eight, so they're going to need some instant offense. Upel, this is Rob Hill with a baseline drive, lays it up and in. And another Liberty timeout. 59-53 with 16 seconds to go. Tigers again chop it to six. We'll take a break. We're late the fourth quarter with the Blue Streaks leading Liberty. For nine, third quarter, three for not or three for thirteen. It was almost they were ready to explode in this fourth quarter. We've got a foul call, and it will be against 
Oh my, they're calling it against Mike Whiteman. They missed the Liberty player holding on to the Blue Streak jersey. And this foul will be against Archful. I wonder if that was a set play from the bench that they pulled a foul out of Archful. Yeah, that's a set play. Ryan Miller at the line to shoot one and one with no time off the clock. And a wet spot on the floor. We'll need some attention. I'll tell you what, David Grimm pulling about everything out of his bag of tricks uh, for a rookie coach. Archibald will bring back in Kyle Broadbeck. At the line, Ryan Miller. A couple free throws here and we've got a four point game. Miller with a basketball. Free throw on the way, gets the roll, 59-54. Liberty within five. Foul was on Whiteman, that was his third. Right. I'm sorry, Dave, see we have the miss on the free throw. Nope, he'll put it in, 59-55, four-point game. In the backcourt, Keith Roth, and he is fouled by Brock Dissop with 14 seconds to go. And Liberty brings in some more uh, people, Rob Hill and uh, Tim Davis. They have to play them on offense because uh, they're in foul trouble on the defensive end. Exactly. They can't afford to give any more fouls up, so what Coach Grimm does is he goes to the bench to, for use of fouls, and then he brings the offensive players back in when he has the ball. This may be a two-hour last minute of the ball game. Archbold pulls everybody out of the lane. At the line, Keith Roth, he can put Archbold in great shape. They're up by four now. Free throw on the way, and good. 60 to 55, Art Full. The Blue Streets trying to go to 3 0 on the young season. Roth to put him up by six. He will get it. 61 55. Just 14 seconds to go. Tim Davis with a dribble move. Still driving all the way in. Puts it up and missed it. Rebound to Whiteman, and he's fouled with six seconds to go. Davis was more concerned about drawing the foul. And missed the layup. It will be Archbold to shoot free throws, and it looks like the streaks have it pretty well locked up. Tim Davis with a foul, and that will be his fifth. The Blue Streaks got a whale of a battle from the Liberty Tigers here. But the Blue Streaks with a six-point lead and shooting free throws may be in good shape. Zeb Schrader will check in for the Blue Streaks, replacing Brian Ashland. What a big game for Brian. It's a big hand for those Blue Streak fans. Sean Roth was not on tonight, so Brian Ashleman picked up the slack. 26 points for Brian Ashleman. Boy, did he pick up the slack. At the line, Mike Whiteman for one and one. Free throw up and no good. Liberty with the rebound. This will go up the sideline. Upel launches a long bomb off the glass. No good. One second ago, follow up by Rob Hill. No good. And that will be the ball game. Archbold will pick up their first league victory of the season. A 61-55 win over the Liberty Tigers. Archbold with a 30-point fourth quarter. And they now will advance to a road trip to Kaleida tomorrow night. Arch teams ranked in the state of Ohio. All three were unbeaten in conference play with one showdown tonight. That is Archbold at Wauseon, the Indians, a state finalist last year. This is the group of seniors that won a state football title in 93. Jenny Sager waving the red flag with the Indians. Big Red trailed most of this one. What a night for Damon O'Neill. Scored 32, nothing but net, cuts the lead to one.